Hey guys, it's Lexi, and today I'm going to be doing an eye tutorial on this eye look right here. It's a pretty fierce, uh, pastel -y cut crease, and I really, really like it. It's spring-inspired like my other two tutorials that I've uploaded before this one. I'm just, I really like spring. As you guys can tell, I'm just kind of slightly obsessed with spring. Um, I did pair this look with a nude lip just because... It's not dramatic. I wouldn't say it's dramatic. I actually have a dramatic cut crease on my channel. I will link it right here and you guys can go watch it. Um, but it is pretty fierce. I'd say it's fierce um, nonetheless. But the palette that I'm using, because as if you watch the tutorial, I just refer to it as the pink shade, the purple shade, and the charcoal black, and then like the white. Um, this is the little palette that I'm using for this tutorial. Um, this is a Lancome cream powder eye color thing. I don't even know how to pronounce half the words. So here's the back. Soak that in. Read it. Yep. Yep. There it is. Okay. And so these are the colors I'm referring to. You of course don't have to use these exact colors. You can obviously use any colors that are similar to these at all or maybe not even. You can just use any pastel -y colors you want. You can really switch up the pink and the purple for anything that go together nicely. Um, you know, I don't know what other pastel -y shades would go together really nicely, but I mean, you can really play with it with your imagination. You could switch it and have the purple be on the lid and the pink in the crease and uh, gray instead of a black. You know, you can really switch it up and play with it however you want. Um, and then I also did use a Bare Minerals pigment. I don't know the like actual name of the shade, but whatever. Um, these are the colors. It is a pastel pink, a white, a purple, and a really deep matte charcoal black. So those are the colors that I used and I did not do um, eyeliner just because I feel like if I wanted it to be dramatic then I would have put eyeliner on it. But a really really easy way to wear a cut crease look and not have it be dramatic and have it look a little more everyday is to just not put eyeliner on it. Um, I used to wear a really, really, really dramatic cut crease every single day and that's all I did was I just didn't put liner on it and it actually looked really nice and you can really pull it off. So yeah, I'm going to stop babbling because I babble a lot in my intro so I'm sorry. Um, but if you want to see this pastel-y, spring-inspired, fierce cut crease thing, then just keep watching. After applying your primer, you can go ahead and take a strip of tape, and we're just going to use that tape to cut the crease. So what I do is I go from my lower lash line up to the tip of my eyebrow, and my eyebrows do look pretty gnarly in this clip just because they are not fully done yet, so ignore that. Taking that pink shade out of that palette, I'm going to be applying that all over my lid, not going into the crease or anywhere else, just all the way from the tear duct to where we're cutting the crease. Now taking a blending brush and that purple shade, you're going to want to start at where you cut the crease, like so that piece of tape, and make that pretty thick because we will be layering a black on top of this, so you still want to be able to see that purple, and then very lightly drag it in so that you really have a really defined type of crease. Then taking an angled brush and that charcoaly black that is in that palette, and just tapping that against the... Um, tape, so really making a really defined, pretty harsh line right there, and then turning the brush slightly and putting that into the crease. Only as far as your brush goes though, you don't want to swipe it in. Um, and then just really making sure that that crease is pretty defined. We are going back to that blending brush. I personally love my Soho blending one, uh, or blending brush, sorry. And then I'm going to be doing little circular and windshield wiper motions right on that black and really just smoking it out and not focusing too much along that um, line of tape just because we really want to make that harsh and defined or at least I do for my personal style and I just kind of make sure that everything's blended together and blended in. It's really for me blending uh, your makeup is really personal preference and just whatever you like. Uh, you could not even blend it if you really like it to be that harsh. And then I'll be taking a Bare Minerals pigment, and the camera wouldn't really focus, so I'm sorry. But it's just kind of like a deep pink pigment type thing. I don't know. I'm going to be applying that on top of where we just put that pink, just so it really stands out. Because that pink can kind of get washed away and faded with um, all those other darker purple and black color. Back to the trusty blending brush. I just do... Kind of up and down motions right where that 
was kind of like cut, I guess. I'm going to be taking that white ivory type of shade in that palette that I showed in the beginning and run that um, underneath my eyebrows, which are undone, so they don't usually look that nasty. You can, of course, take off the tape, and it will pull on your eyes. I will tell you that right now, so you do want to be kind of careful. As you can see, I go very, very, very slow. You're going to want to take an eye pencil, and you can use pink, purple, whatever color you want to use. And I'm using pink just because I feel like it goes really well. And running it underneath the lower lash line. And I'm going back to that Bare Minerals pigment I used and running that underneath the lower lash line on top of that pencil. And now I will curl my lashes and put on some mascara. Before I, or I put mascara on those bottom lashes, I'm going to be taking a black eyeliner pencil and lining my waterline. And that is it for this eye look, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and all that other stuff. Um, also comment and make sure you leave some video requests down below so I know what you guys want to see. Bye guys.